Brewtube, DJ's here, back at you with yet another DJ's Brewtube beer review. And today, I'm feeling a little surly. Why am I feeling surly? Damn, because I got another surly beer to review. And this beer is coming to the Brewtube audience. Compliments of our buddy, Minnesota Matt. Minnesota Matt, you know who you are, baby. Yay, yay, bigs up to you, my friend. Thank you. Very appreciative. I would not have this beer without you. Enough gratitude for the moment. Anyways, what are we going to have from Surly today? Today we're going to have their Cynic Ale. And their Cynic Ale is like cynical. Mm -hmm, get the little pun there. But their Cynic Ale, it, like everything, it says beer from a can for a glass. And it's a Belgian style Saison. And in this beer they're using um, three types of malts. One of them being oats. They seem to put oats in almost every one of their beers. Which give them awesome mouthfeel. And they're using, what is it? I think like three or four kind of hops in this and Belgian ale yeast. So it's supposed to be a right down the center, true to the style, Belgian saison. So let's get the, uh, wait, oh wait, there's no bottle popper, why? Oh shit, we got our can with a date clearly listed easily on the bottom in a real date format. And at the time of filming this video, this beer is maybe a little just sly, shy, just sly. You're okay, you're a doctor. They must have had some beers, maybe. Mmm. Just shy of a month old. So let's get it popped. Damn, that's awesome. Nice smoke off the top and get it in the glass. Ah, uh, it's been one of those days, guys, really. I'm pouring this beer here for you, and I've been thinking how interesting the day's been so far. And. I can't resist ooh, sipping that little bit off the top of the can. So, what do we got going on here, guys? We got a really, a, a perfect saison color. It's uh, it's sort of a bit dusky gold with some amber hues mixed in with that gold. It's quite clear. A um, little tiny bit cloudy. Lots of streaming bubbles up from the bottom. We're not talking um, uh, big carbonation on this one. We got uh, about three quarters of a finger head when I swirl it. You get some clingy glass lazy and a little bit of alcohol lace, but you'll get start getting them now. This is 6.6 ABV, and it's 33 IBUs. So that's right in there where it's supposed to be for a saison. So some are a little bit lighter in alcohol, but this one, I like that it's just above session strength. Let's get a nose on this, see what we got. Mm, right up in front, man, you got Belgian spicy yeast. You can smell like sweetness. You can smell floral hops, a bit of bitter hops aroma in there. And then there's a sweetness that follows it. So the nose of this beer is the combination of those aromas that I just described sort of gives it a total package sort of floral aroma. Really inviting beer. That's how these beers are supposed to be. This is a year-round serving, so you can get this any time of year that you're in Minnesota because these guys don't distribute outside of Minnesota. So... I'm a lucky guy. Let's get a taste on this, see what we got going on. Wow. The first thing I gotta mention, guys, like every surly beer, the mouthfeel is just freaking spot on. This is a full medium, full medium mouthfeel. It's not medium, full, super heavy or whatever, but man, it's just silky and it goes down and coats your mouth. Much like the nose, up front, you have the Belgian spice of the yeast, followed by those floral hop comp that floral hop combination, um, and a sweet malt in the background. That's not the huge player, but it's a really floral and fresh tasting beer, like a saison is supposed to be. And man, it, this beer goes down so easy. This is when you're drinking this beer, it reminds me of when I'm drinking a Hefeweizen. I could just chug this top to bottom. I'll sit it down so I don't do that like an animal. I could chug that top to bottom, no problem at all. Really super easy drinking beer. There's not a hint at all of any alcohol in this beer. Not going down in the taste, anything. But just a lovely, lovely brew. Oh boy, the dogs are going crazy upstairs. Must have company coming over. So I'm gonna finish this review. Stop flapping my gums so much. What do the other guys think about this? Great beer is given a 94. Beer Advocate's giving it a 90. Um, I'm going to admit I got a bit of surly bias, and I'm going to go with that 94 grade myself, an A on this beer. It's a top-notch beer, really tasty, and surly hasn't let me down again. These guys are just rock stars. 
and making beer and this is a year-round serving guys and for a session beer session strength really it's 6.6 .6 nowadays that's where session session strength is going with all the big massive beers that are out there in the world but mega tasty brew guys if you can find it do so it's not an easy uh, brewery to find product from but anyways we got to talk about something important. We got to talk about thinking globally. We got to talk about drinking glo locally. We got to support that craft beer movement, help guys like Shirley grow and be able to distribute their beer to the masses so more folks can have them and enjoy this lovely brew. Thanks a million for watching, guys. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next time, what's that? Damn. That's a big peace out.